I made the food pick up. If y'all could only smell what I'm smelling right now, if y'all could smell the aromas. Chicken, macaroni and cheese, yams. This is a disclaimer. Watch what you eat. I don't eat like this every day. So just because you see me eating this now, I don't think I eat that every day. Because I don't. But sometimes I want to eat like that. You know what I mean? What's going on? It's Javan Johnson here. You're watching episode number 121 of About 10 Minutes. How you feeling? How you doing? So today I'm going to take some time to talk to you about Worldwide Dominion Productions. Uh, some of you may have heard the name, or you may have seen the logo, but you may not know really what it is, kind of how it came about. What is Worldwide Dominion Productions? So I thought I'd take some time to talk about it. I actually founded it back when I was younger, like in 2005, and um, you know, as far as doing the paperwork and things of that nature. One of the things about my music, if you heard my music, if you've been to the channel before, probably didn't take you long to tell that I'm a born again Christian. You know, I love Jesus Christ. And really the idea behind Worldwide Dominion is to glorify Jesus Christ, to take the gospel to the world. You know, Worldwide Dominion, we know that Jesus Christ has dominion and power. He has authority. Worldwide Dominion, it's about being bold for Christ. It's about not backing down. It's about speaking the truth. It's about productions that glorify Jesus Christ. And it's not only limited to music. It can be videos. It can be stage productions. It can be a lot of different things. And so at the end of the day, what, what it's about, it's about glorifying Jesus Christ. Some of y'all may be familiar with the compilation album, The Way, The Truth, The Life. Uh, that came out in 2006. If you go back and look at some of the vault footage, you can kind of see some of the different things. With me, I have a goofy side, I have a silly side. So, you know, when you're watching about 10 minutes, you may see that silly side. And even in some of my music, you know, the silliness may come out. But at the end of the day, it's a very serious thing when we talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ. One of the main scriptures I would say is uh, John 14 and 6, you know, dealing with Jesus. That Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him. Uh, the word of God is powerful. It's important to be in the word of God. The music and stuff, the albums and stuff, there's a place for that and, that and that can help out. But at the end of the day, it's about that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Some of y'all may have seen in the past where I was posting pictures on Instagram or Twitter with protein bars or a protein shake or something like that. And the thing about it is there's a place for taking that type of stuff, but I still need to have a meal, but I still need to eat food as well. It's not one of those things where I just only eat that kind of stuff 24-7, where I only eat the protein bar and drink the protein shake and that's it. So it's important that we have that personal time, that we spend time in the Word for ourselves, that we get that full meal. You know, and then we're not just eating protein bars and drinking protein shakes all the time, but we get that full meal as well. I mean, sometimes I'm out and about, uh, I can be out like working out or something, and they had a logo on, people may be looking at it, things of that nature. And so they may not really know, like, really, like, the history behind Worldwide Dominion. It's really, I could talk a lot about it. If you want to kind of see some of the things, you can check out some of the vault footage. There's a lot of video footage that, that hasn't even been posted online. Sometime down the road may get posted online. And one thing I will say is, you know, when you have things before the Lord, you know, and you feel like God has called you to do something, I would say it's a good idea to plan, to plan some things out. And by planning, it's not that it has to be set in stone, like, this is what I wrote down, so it must be done this way. If God wants us to do something different than what we've written down, then we need to do what God wants us to do. It's not a thing we say, well, I already wrote it down, so this is what I got to do. <laughs> Let me get you in the mix. Saturday morning food giveaway. What you doing? Where you going? What you waiting for? How about we take some time right now to shout and praise the Lord? He's awesome, great, and merciful. I thank God for His grace. He helps me to get back on track if I am out of place. God is my inspiration. I want to be more like Him. 